Hello and welcome to World Bytes' new programme, Pitchfork, where we'll investigate and challenge bad ideas, practice and policies. My name is Marisa Pereira and in this first programme we are looking at the morning after pill. When it first became available, the results were groundbreaking. It allowed women to be autonomous decision makers rather than prisoners of their biology. With its campaign Just Say Non, the British Pregnancy Advisory Service is campaigning to reduce the price of the morning after pill. So that's 30 quid. Join the campaign to say no to the unfair cost of emergency contraception. Click here. Can you explain why did you set up? So we've had emergency contraception in this country for, for decades now. And while for some women it is relatively accessible, for others it's not. So we wanted to raise awareness that this was the case, because I think that most people don't know that women in this country are being ripped off. So the morning after pill in Britain can cost up to £30. How do you feel about that price? That's horrendous. I think it's too expensive. Oh, that's a lot of money yeah, for a pill. I come from France, so I know that in France you have just to pay six euros to get it. And I don't understand the difference of the price here. Do you think there is a valid reason for the, for the pill to be that expensive? Absolutely not. Currently, emergency contraception costs up to five times more in the UK than it does in many other European countries. We now know that the big high street pharmacies are buying this medication for as little as around a pound a packet, probably even less. So that is where the huge markup is coming, yeah. So it's your boots, it's your Lloyds, it's your super drug. Women in this country are being ripped off. We went to check out what does happen when you try to buy the morning after pill. And I'll be secretly filming the whole thing with these glasses. Um, can I get the morning after pill by any chance? Yes, you can. Um, if you just go to that window there, I'll send the pharmacist to speak to you there, okay? Oh. oh, hi. Um, I'm here for the morning after pill. Oh, I'll just ask you a few questions then. Um, what's, uh, when did it happen? Um, yesterday. Right, and was your last period normal and on time? Um, is that relevant to what? Can I not just yes. get it? Do I need no, to? No, we need what, to ask why? these questions. I oh, mean, really? It's up to you. <laughs> yeah, all pharmacies you go to. Um, you'll have to go through this process, yes, uh, because it's it's a controlled preparation. Oh, right, because I heard, uh, you know, because in America they just sell it off the oh, shelves. In, in Europe they sell antibiotics and do all sorts of things, but in England I'm afraid there's different rules. Right, right. It's part of the process yeah. the English government uh, mm. and the licensing authorities require the pharmacists in this country to go through before right. they sell these controlled preparations over the counter. Do you know when they then? Uh, yesterday. Actually. And like I say, your last period, when was the first uh, It was period? last week. Oh, so you're in that first mm -hmm. period, so it will be effective for you. Mm -hmm. Have you taken this tablet before? It's, it's purely a safety mechanism so that it is ad it's meant to be so that it is effective. If it's not going to be effective, it's pointless you taking it. We found that when we went out to film women trying to get the pill from high street pharmacies, that they're required to have a mandatory consultation mm. with the pharmacist. How do you see this consultation and is there a need for it? Well, essentially it's clinically unnecessary. Emergency contraception is incredibly safe. It's much safer than a lot of medication that we have currently available on the shelves. And secondly, our experience of, of the consultation is that it's patronising. I'm here to buy the morning after pill. £28, yeah? Yeah. Okay. just have to ask you a few questions. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. just have to ask you a few questions, alright? Okay, is that necessary? Can't I just buy? Follow me. Sure. Have you used it before? No, I haven't. It's the first time? Yeah. Okay. Do you take any regular medication? Yeah, I really wouldn't be comfortable with people asking me intrusive questions when all I wanted was something that should be provided free anyway. I think it's too intrusive. I have friends that have experienced this and it's not a nice feeling to go into a room where you don't know someone for them to be asking you personal questions. It's nobody's business really, it's just that woman is grown up and old enough to know what she needs to do. I think that behind, you know, whether it's the consultation or the price, is this idea that if it's made 
you know, too easy for women, that it will be abused in some way. And the second thing is it's this idea that, you know, if we give women access to this pill without the intervention of, of, of a medical professional, that they're going to abuse it because they can't understand it or they won't comprehend it. And also that that in accessing emergency contraception, women have somehow failed in a way and need somebody to, to correct their behaviour. They need to be told how to use contraception or warned about STIs. I think women are perfectly capable of understanding those issues themselves. I heard that if you overuse the morning after pill, it can cause infertility. Is that true um, then or not? Yeah, it's hard to, to say that it's anything other than just a lie. Right. You can use it as many times as you need to. The only reason why a woman couldn't use it as many times as she needs to is because it's so damn expensive. <laughs> Often it's said that you can easily get the morning after pill for free from the GPs, from sexual health clinics. So why does your campaign focus so much on high street pharmacies? I think that while emergency contraception is accessible from GPs and sexual health clinics, and that is right and good for some women, not all women will be able to access an appointment in time. Emergency contraception is, is a medication that needs to be taken in quite a short time frame. So would you support the idea that we should all have emergency contraceptive in our medicine cabinet at home, just in case? Yeah, absolutely. It should be there next to your plasters and your mouthwash. It is a very safe, very effective method of contraception. In our country, the majority of women will still rely on a user-dependent method of contraception, like the contraceptive pill or condoms, which we know can fail, they can split, they can not end up coming out of their bedside table drawer. So it is really important that women have access to this method. Can you tell us a little bit more about the general sale list status that you are campaigning for and what does that entail? Yeah, so if uh, a medicine is a general sales list medicine, that means that it can be dispensed without a pharmacist's intervention with reasonable safety. So that's why when you stop at a petrol station, you can go in and you can buy some headache medication straight from the shelf there. It doesn't need to be under a pharmacist's supervision. Now we would like to see a emergency contraception dispensed in exactly the same way. We think you should be able to go to your corner shop at 10pm on a Friday night if you need emergency contraception and that's how you should be able to get it. There's no reason why it shouldn't be treated in the same way as other medication. And what about blokes? If a guy needs to buy the morning after pill for his partner or his female friend, it's unlikely he'll get it. Hi, I'm Fraser. I'm about to go and find out whether I can get the morning after pill for my girlfriend. I've got my secret pen camera ready to record the conversations. There are no laws preventing men from buying the morning after pill from high street pharmacies. Hi. Hi. Um, will I be able to get the morning after pill? Uh, yes, we can do that here, but the person who requires it will have to be here themselves as well. Oh, really? I didn't know that. How come? Because, uh, because they require a consultation with the pharmacist first before we can dispense it as well. Um, when have you had to get the morning after pill? Why? Yeah. Why? I just want the Thanks. You need the morning after pill? Yeah, yeah, it's for my girlfriend. Okay, is she local? Uh, yeah, she's uh, Chatsworth Road. Okay. One of the conditions is the person has to come in themselves. We have to have a word-to-word -word conversation with the individual just to make sure it's safe for her to take and she understands what it's for. Oh really? So you couldn't so sell, it wouldn't be able to to sell it to me? To you, yeah. But pharmacists claim they have to speak to the woman taking it. Some say it's because pharmacists want to prevent men from forcing their partners to take it against their wishes. But is it fair to treat all men as potential abusers and our relationships as toxic? Yeah, I feel men should be able to buy morning after pills for their partners because they're in a relationship together. So if the woman can go out and buy condoms for the male, then the male can go out and buy a morning after pill for the woman. I think it's a real shame that men aren't able to buy the, the emergency contraceptive pill for their partner. It makes complete sense to me that if you know your partner has a much more flexible working hours or isn't in charge of the childcare, that they can go and pick it up for you. I think it's just another unnecessary barrier to women getting this medication. It is clear to me that the morning after pill should be made available everywhere and cheaply too. That way we really can control our fertility and make our own decisions. It would demonstrate too that society recognises women as trustworthy, equal citizens and stops treating us as vulnerable idiots and children who can't read the labels on medicine.
come on, drug companies, chemists, practitioners, policymakers, stop patronizing us and ripping us off. You could really make a difference here in women's lives.